look at this incredibly awesome kind of artsy style building right here in southeast portland what's up you creepers it's clear ski check this out though this is a brand new building right here in the heart of southeast portland I'm standing right in front of the City Liquidators building, which is right behind me, which we'll get to here in a second. But check this out. Each one of these little windows has its own tree slash kind of like little planter box. Not to mention the incredibly cool mural s painting but if you guys can see it literally wraps around the entire building here <laughs> look at that you guys all the way up all four sides and i did a little homework and i believe they're cherry trees <laughs> which is going to be interesting to see what happens when the cherries bloom and fall but these are controlled by a watering system their own watering system but what an incredibly awesome building and I just love Southeast Portland for weird stuff like this <laughs> and cool things like this but like I said to begin with I'm standing in front of the city liquidators building which is a heart and staple here in Portland um, all kinds of weird knickknacks uh, things for your office, things for your home. Um, so not only is the building something I wanted to show you, but we're going to creep inside here, City Liquidators, and check it out. And not to mention, check this out, you guys. This is hilarious. A giant old school Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket with the Colonel himself. right here on the roof <laughs> it's finger licking good now if that isn't weird portland and nostalgia i don't know what is but to tell you the truth i'd love to see that mounted up on top of their actual building here and like i mentioned they sell all kinds of weird little knickknacks including all these different little chairs and whatnot. Uh, but we're gonna creep inside here. I just act actually got permission to go inside here and film. But I just love this bucket up here too. I'll get a better shot from this side maybe here. Through the fence. Colonel Sanders recipe. Love it. And I believe they got rid of the Kentucky Fried Chicken part and changed it to KFC because it just sounded a little bit more healthy. But let's creep inside here and check out City Liquidators. I went inside earlier and they got all kinds of weird little knickknacks and just weird Portland items. So I just love with the, the front of the building too. They've got it all decked out out front here with these beautiful lights and these flyers here or streamers I'm not sure what you would call them really <laughs> but it just makes for a great little ambiance as you walk in but they own this building here as well which is more of their office furniture and then they've got this really cool place here as well and here's our actual City Liquidator sign. And like I said, I know they've been here in Portland for many years. So let's creep in here and check this out. I'm excited. I've seen other vlogs and videos. Um, but look, check this out, you guys. Right when you walk in here, they've got these old school bikes hanging. kinds of different hardware, knickknacks, love it. To me, this is Portland. <laughs> it's 
super cool. And I'll definitely leave links to their store. That way if you guys see anything you might want to pick up for a gift. Oh, look at those. are cool, you guys. Wow, they did a great job on those cups. They're really cool. They've got basically everything of Portland. All the bridges. The Portland sign. Farmer's Market. Very cool. Very cool. And look at these, like... Balloon animal elephants. And not to mention a little pug wearing some <laughs> headphones. <laughs> Very cool. But if you guys can see, they've got the entire store decked out with just really cool. Very cool items. Love it. Wow, look at this. Now that is cool. All kinds of little party gifts and supplies. Hello there. Thank you so much again for letting me film. Check out this giant antique scale you guys holy cow that is cool look at these old neon signs are awesome you guys can see the entire store oh look at that old school coca cola clock That's awesome. All kinds of jars. Oh, here's a bunch of these cool string lights too. Little pumpkin string lights. <laughs> Very cool. But this back in here is really what I wanted to show you guys. This totally blew me out of the water how cool this is back here anything from these light up signs kind of old school route 66 that is so rad to all these different mirrors oh that is so awesome Wow, they got a whole bunch of different kinds. This is cool. Very cool. And all these different colored chairs. But check out these signs, you guys. These neon signs. These are cool. If you're like me, I'm a huge fan of the old school neon. These look more of like maybe a throwback to those. Kind of newer but still have that same awesome glow. And in fact, if you get up close enough, you can almost hear the, the neon. I love that. I've got all kinds of couches and check out this elephant, you guys. It's an elephant chair. That is super cool. Looks like you sit right back in here. Oh, that is neat. <laughs> nice. Check out these, you guys. <laughs> so we have Justin Bieber as a... Some kind of dog, I guess. Oh, yeah. Dorothy, Bob Marley. <laughs> it's like an Einstein... That's awesome. But yeah, just an incredibly awesome place. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Look at this giant plane, you guys. <laughs> How did I not see that? That is awesome. Holy cow. 
And it's like the more you look, the better it gets. But yeah, check this big plane out, you guys. This is super cool. This place is enormous too, so we probably won't be able to creep through the entire building. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of the gist of all the cool history. And oh, look at this McDonald. Look at this Ronald, you guys. Now that, that is cool. We actually crept over to a place. If you guys haven't seen the vlog after this vlog, you might want to go back and check it out. But a guy in East County, Gresham, has his whole yard decked out in all these old school McDonald's guys. He's got Grimace and Mayor McCheese, I believe it is. <laughs> but how cool, you guys. It looks like they have an entire upstairs as well. Like I said, we'll definitely have to come back sometime and vlog the entire store. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a gist of how cool this is. Very cool. This old Coca-Cola nostalgia. Wow, look at this old Coca-Cola machine that actually held the bottles, you guys. That is so cool. Love it. Absolutely love it. And this old cigarette machine. Man, I love the old tin though. The old Coca-Cola murals and tin. Wow, that's impressive. Look at that bottle. How big that is, you guys. Wow. Very cool. Very cool establishment. It's just like the more I look, the more I'm blown out of the water by how cool this is. Love it. Wow, look at these. Old school. Wow. Gosh, how'd you guys get that plane in here? <laughs> Very careful. I was gonna say. <laughs> That is super cool, man. How long have you guys, how long has this place been 41 here? 41 years. 41 years. I love the KFC bucket out front too. You guys. Did you, did you see the Colonel upstairs? I haven't seen the Colonel. Should we go upstairs and check him out? Yeah, he's uh. Um, that's awesome. He's right at the top of the stairs. Okay, let's go check out the Colonel. I just saw him on the bucket, but I was hoping you guys could get that bucket up on your, up on your water tower. That'd be cool. Maybe. <laughs> And did you see the urban zoo over here? I have not seen it yet. This place is enormous, so I'm definitely uh, gonna keep creeping around. But oh man, look at this old, like a plinko almost. Yeah, it's a plinko machine. Very cool. I mean, that's pre pinball, even, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I saw a, a gentleman on um, one of the restoration channels, he found one of those and was talking about how the evolution of them came about and those were basically pre-pinball. Yeah. So I'm gonna go check out the Colonel. Thank you for the heads up. Okay, <laughs> right? That's so funny. Ronald's over there too, supervising. <laughs> wow, look at this giant. Dang, that is so cool. Of course. Yeah, come on up. But I'd love to hear it. Two summers ago, down here they have big neighborhood garage sale. Okay. Where everybody participates. I found that thing on 44th and Burnside. Wow. Way the hell up there. Was it in somebody's house? No, it was out there for sale. Oh, for sale. Okay, yeah. And I asked the guy, I said, Look it up. He said, it's been sitting on my patio for years. Yeah. I'm tired of it. This thing's been sitting on his bed? Holy okay. smokes. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> and, and I said, okay, so I bought it from him. And I was in my Honda. Yeah? And I thought, shit, my back seat's full already. I ended up having to tie that thing on the roof <laughs> and that drive from awesome. 44th down here. It, I bet you the looks you got was un unbelievable. Said, meet me on the front dock. That is too funny. I said, just meet Holy me out smokes. There, I'll show you. I was going to say, that thing must weigh a ton, too. No. Oh, it's really, it just looks like, okay. Yeah. 
but still going down the street with that bad yeah. boy strapped to the ride yeah. you must, oh, that's yeah. a key Everybody portland does. weird for sure i wish i would have had video yeah. of that and i thought <laughs> don't anybody get in a wreck that is too funny yeah giant poodle yeah. giant poodle causes backup on id4 no. yeah. thank you for sharing that it's funny man look at this giant fork you guys <laughs> so we guess we got the kernel up here somewhere are we close here okay oh This is cool. This is all their home furnishing. I was directed to come see the Colonel. Oh, he's the over Colonel there. is oh. right behind you on the stairs. Did I miss him on the? Bear. Oh, okay. Look at this giant bear. Oh wow! Yeah, I saw the bucket out front, and I knew he had to be close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. Next to the bear, making sure he's secure here. Look at that, you guys. He's seen better days with his hands, but that's probably what was holding the bucket. <laughs> that's cool. So somebody's definitely a collector of also incredibly awesome things, but more specifically the Colonel. Yes. And you were on the commercial for many years doing the commercial for this place, weren't you? I was. That's what I thought. Yeah, this place is incredible. Um, well, thank you. The Not more... everybody likes our brand of crazy. Oh, I love it. It's uh, definitely talk about keep Portland weird, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, this is cool, you guys. I didn't even know there was a second floor. <laughs> it's like the more you look, the better it gets. Thank you so much for having me. Check out this old television set. Thank you for coming in. Definitely. This is super cool. Yeah, I started the vlog with that new building that's being installed out front. So it's like kind of ties into all the weirdness, you know, that's what I love about Portland. So, and you guys have been here for like, what, 40 years, he said? Uh, we started in 1977. Oh, wow. So 42, 41. And family owned and operated. Yeah. I remember you from the commercial. Yes. And I'll leave links, you guys. So if you do see anything, you guys can get a hold of them. Okay. Just uh, make sure you got my good side. Right? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> The Colonel said the same thing. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, and check this out. You can actually see that building where we started out. Right here. Very cool. Very cool. Gosh, I missed so much too on the way in. I mean, there's just an incredible amount of stuff 